Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Country Kitchen Chicken Pot Pie. That's almost a tongue twister. It's seasoned diced chicken breast with pot pie sauce and a puff pastry. This is by Delicious Eats by Cardia Brown. It is a 10 ounce or 283 gram meal. Uh, Walmart has a bunch of these chef inspired or chef meals. Um, so we got this at Walmart. It was $5.98, a little on the high side, but not ridiculous. 520 calories for the entire bowl, so it's not low calorie, that's for sure. There's the other info for you. So it says it's one of the most cherished and well-loved dishes from my childhood. Comforting creamy pot pie sauce with home-style oven-roasted chicken, peas, and carrots topped with a golden pastry crust. So it's just covered with a crust. It's not um, like a pie crust inside. I like it when it has the crust on the middle too, but we'll, you know, we'll see what it's like. You can do this in the oven if you like. Of course, we don't do ovens on this channel, but there's the directions if you need them. We are going to do it in the microwave. Lift the film of the bowl to vent. Place the bowl in the microwave and cook for five and a half minutes or until the center of the dish reaches 165. Let it stand for one to two minutes and that's it. So basically vent it and five and a half minutes. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, that they put the pretty decent um, covering on top, so that's pretty cool. So it's got a little, like an extra long tab here. I'll just take advantage of that and pull it to vent it and get it in the microwave and I'll be back when it comes out. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. I did let it sit for a minute or two. The crust looks pretty good and flaky. I mean, look at that. That looks pretty nice. Um, there's what the underside looks like. I'm gonna break it up a little bit. So the crust is a little tough. You can see it's a little tough to even poke through. Which I guess it keeps it from getting soggy, but it also makes it kind of hard to eat when you can't cut the thing. So anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this and try to cut it up into pieces. I might have to actually end up getting a little knife out and cutting it. I don't know. Kind of tough. You can see it's not one to cut very easily. But anyway, I'll uh, I'll be back. Hey, okay, I wanted to try. I didn't end up cutting, getting a knife out and cutting it up because it was just easier. Um, I'm gonna try to get some of the crust as much as I can by itself. There's without a lot of the the sauce and stuff. I got it the best I could. So here we go. Good and flaky. Um, you definitely get the layers. Like it's definitely made up of layers. Um, so it's actually more of a it's more of a pastry than a pie crust. Like a pie crust generally does not have um, like layers to it. It's a little um, it's layered and it's crispy, but it's also kind of gets stuck in your teeth. Like it's kind of doughy. Not bad texture. It's just it's just different. I guess if you get a, you know, pie crusts are not layered. They're they're more not flaky. They're more of just a, a pie crust, you know, just one dense layer. Um, but it's really good and crunchy. This is not quite like that. I don't mind this one. It's it's just different. Um, let me try it with some of the chicken and the sauce. Hmm. Chicken is super, super tender. They don't give you a lot of the the sauce and vegetables and stuff it's a i mean they do they give you a pie layer about that thick of the sauce and the chicken and stuff and the vegetables and then the the layer of, pot, of pastry on top so you don't get a ton of the filling but you get enough and i still miss the like the traditional pie crust but i don't mind just top pastry um, either You know, like that puff pastry right there, um, it was chewy. It was kind of, it kind of had a chew to it. It was kind of tough. Um, not chewy like in rubbery, but chewy as in tough and having to bite into it. Kind of like, I won't say leathery because it wasn't that bad, but it was still a tougher chew than just like a, a regular pie crust would be. So it's a puff pastry that, I mean, it's still got its layers, but it did make it a little more tough and chewy um, when you microwaved it and froze it and stuff. So. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I like that texture or not. I'm trying to see real quick about the, the sodium. Yeah, the sodium for this, 1,230 milligrams of sodium in this meal. That's 53% of your daily recommended allowance of salt. I thought so, because when you're eating it, you kind of get the saltiness from it.
Yeah, and all frozen meals are salty, but the and pot pies are salty too. But this one, I could just kind of get that saltiness from it. I still don't know that I'm crazy about that um, puff pastry. Let me get a bite without the puff pastry. So overall, the textures are good inside. Like the chicken, the vegetables are cooked really nice. They're, they're not hard or crunchy, which I don't like. I don't like a blanched um, steamed vegetable. I don't like them like that. I don't like them really crunchy. These are cooked well and they're not mushy, but they're soft. Um, with chicken, it's good and tender, good and moist. They're not dry at all. So the, the filling and the sauces is, is a really nice um, creamy texture. The puff pastry, over half of it is really tough and chewy. I did get a couple of little bites here and there, and I'm sure that I'll get more of them that aren't that bad. No, like that piece right there wasn't bad. It's still not pie crust, but it's not bad. It's for a puff pastry, it's pretty decent. But um, some of them are really tough and chewy. So um, the texture of the puff pastry for me doesn't survive well, at least microwaved. Um, flavor wise, I like all the flavors of the fillings. Again, the puff pastry really doesn't have much flavor to it. It's just a, it's just puff pastry. I mean, it's really, it doesn't have a buttery flavor. It's not a really rich flavor. It's just something for you to chew on. More than anything, it just adds more texture than it does flavor. Um, so for me, it's a half and half, you know? It's a half success, half fail for me. Um, in the oven, I can't judge the oven, so, so I can't speak to it. Uh, but it may be a completely different experience in the oven when you're baking it instead of microwaving it. That puff pastry might be like exceptional when you put it in the oven. So I don't, I don't know. I can't judge it. So if you try it in the oven, let me know. Put it in the comments if you try it in the oven and it's better. Uh, for microwave, it just, it's a half and half thing. So I'm going to give this one, I really do like the filling flavor, but I really don't like the pastry. So I'm going to give it a three out of five. It's just for me, it's a middle of the road kind of meal. I would, I per personally wouldn't get it. I would rather have, um, just the regular pot pies that you can buy that have uh, traditional pie crust that are in the bottom, the sides, and the top is all pie crust. Um, the puff pastry is, I don't know, just a, I guess a way to make it a little fancier, but it's, it's just not for me. So three out of five for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.